We all know that being popular on social media is more important than the actual art you produce. In this episode, I'm going to share my five most effective social media secrets that are specially designed to be used by stupid artists like you to grow an engaged audience that will be begging you to take their parents' money. Remember guys, money equals happiness. So let's go get some. <laughs> Artists are usually weak, sensitive, scared type of people, but you don't need to be scared of social media. Social media actually teaches us a lot about people. People that you used to just assume were cunts are now online proving you right, but you don't have to be like your parents. It is possible to use social media to showcase your creativity, to grow a gullible audience and eventually be way richer than that working class scum you're trying so desperately to look down upon. There's no denying it. Art is business. And if the internet's taught us anything, well, is that the earth is flat, but also is that the business world is full of shape-shifting reptilian satanists that drink children's adrenaline for fun. And if that doesn't, you know, if you don't vibe with that idea, I'm, I suggest you switch the video off here. Uh, before you go, hit that like button and smash that subscribe. Anyway, I've gone off topic. Here we are, the top five social media secrets for artists to get you rich on the internet in a few weeks. Number five, the studio shot. Every serious artist needs a decent promo shot. And it's easy. Just stand in front of the painting in the hope that people will realize that it was you that made it. Use your best piece, already finished, and just pretend to be working on it. You don't even need any paint on your brush. No one's gonna notice. Whatever you do, don't wear regular clothes. You need to think more sexy yoga class or I beat the pool party. Don't worry about the actual art, guys. No one cares. Lastly, whatever you do, never wear shoes. Artists do not wear shoes. Number four, inspirational quotes. If you're finding life tough, if you're depressed, if you're on antidepressants, if you're just plain suicidal, my advice, suck it up. No one likes a crybaby. But you know what people really like? inspirational quotes. People love to share inspirational quotes, not because they're trying to help people, but because they're trying to show publicly how spiritual and woke they are. But think about it, if they share your fake bullshit wisdom, then you'll get increased engagement on your posts and the algorithms love that. If you're struggling for ideas, just use a combination of the following words, universe, love, laugh, cosmos, creativity. You get the idea. Number three, Copy, win, repeat. People do not like surprises. So find something that's been popular for decades, rip that shit off and do it again and again and again. Like Warhol's Marilyn, I mean, some cunts are still painting that irrelevant druggie 58 years after she shot herself in the face. And you know why? People love familiarity. They don't want to make a judgment call on new culture. I mean, what if they get it wrong? Fuck, like, what if Banksy started making pieces of art that you needed to look at for more than five seconds? People would lose their minds. Number two, fake it till you make it. Even if you like your work and you think it's good, I mean, it's probably not, but if you think it's good, pretend that you're not so sure. When you're posting a new piece of art online, you wanna say something like, I've nearly finished this sketch. I'm not so sure if I'm going to finish it. I don't like it anymore. What do you guys think? This will encourage loads of comments from those you know, encouraging nice people. They'll say things like, you go girl, you're so damn talented. Please finish the piece, can't wait to see it. I love your vibes with a Z. If you're on Reddit, self-promotion is almost impossible. So you'll have to say that this piece of art was created by your disabled cousin who stuck the paintbrush in her mouth and flapped around the floor like a fish. Watch those upvotes and karma points roll in. Last but not least, in at number one is no one to quit. Yay! Like, a lot of people are not gonna wanna hear this. But you've seen all the videos on YouTube and you've listened to the podcasts and you're, you're following the advice. You're posting all the time. You're creating engaging content for your followers. You're tagging the right people. You're using the right hashtags. You're offering nude photographs to try and get subscribers. All of these things are not working. You need to step back from what you're doing. Get off that continuous carousel of uh, marketing, whatever it is that you're trying to market and look at whether or not this is something that you really want to continue with. You might still enjoy painting and drawing, but maybe you don't, you know, maybe content creation. Content, content, content. Everyone's always talking about content. Maybe you don't want to make content. Maybe you want to make paintings. Maybe you don't want to spend your money on cameras and microphones and laptops and editing software and subscriptions to different things. 
Maybe you just want to spend your time doing the thing that you actually like doing. Maybe you've lost sight of that. Do you really want to be a content creator? Do you really want to spend your life making videos for no one and searching for that viral hit? Oh, next video will do better. Next video will do better. Maybe... Maybe this isn't even... Maybe it's just a waste of time. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. That's been my five top social media secrets for artists. Make sure that you hit that like button. It looks like a little thumb and there's a little subscribe button. If you haven't clicked it already, please click it. Hover your mouse over that button and then click it. It will then subscribe to my channel. As long as you're logged in with a Gmail account or Google Mail account, um, which you might need to set up. If you need to set that up, you can go to google.com or you can go to gmail.com, I believe. Um, if you just go to google.com and then in the Google search bar, just type in uh, Gmail, that will take you over to Gmail. And then if you don't have a Gmail account, then you can um, create a Gmail account. Then, so pause the video here, click, and then do that.